Hey everyone, this is Dan Ayub. I'm executive producer of Publishing at 343, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Halo 3 and 4 in the Master Chief Collection. So one of the questions we've got asked a lot since we announced the Master Chief Collection was, what about 3 and 4? You know, we understand what's going on with Halo 1, Halo 2 Anniversary, but what about 3 and 4? Didn't I already play those games? Um, I understand that's not getting the same hands-on touch as Halo 2 Anniversary. Is there really any change? And we thought we'd, uh, it would be fun to look at this video we've put together of some of the changes we've done to Halo 3, just so you can see how significant the changes we're making are. So what you can immediately see here as the video starts is just the fluidity, and that's because the game is running at 60 frames per second. So it's just a really smooth game. It feels great. You can see it really just by looking at it, but really when you pick up a controller, it can definitely feel the difference. If you look up at the canopy as we move through here, you can actually see some of the individual details on the leaves, uh, which is something you didn't see in the original game. So just with making some of these changes, 60 frames per second, 1080p, you're getting a lot more detail of this game coming through. The environments are so much more vibrant. The lighting just looks amazing. And again, these are this is due to some of the changes we made to the lighting and the shaders to make general graphical improvements across the board, even though we're not hand touching all of the assets as we are in the anniversary edition. This still creates a pretty drastic visual improvement. But what you can really take away from this is Halo 3 at 60 frames per second at 1080p is much more vibrant, much more beautiful than it ever was, and it really feels like you're playing a next-gen title.